How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be going over how to create a Lovelace dashboard specifically for your security cameras. We'll be going over briefly how I integrated my cameras into my Home Assistant and how you can use them inside your dashboard today. Stick around. Before we get into how to create a Lovelace dashboard for your security cameras, Let's get into to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Reallink. Reallink has a wide range of camera products, ranging from wireless Wi-Fi cameras to PoE cameras, power over ethernet. They're a wonderful security camera company. They reached out to me and wanted to send me a few cameras to take a look at and review. Reallink did not pay me anything for this video, so all the views and opinions are mine. They sent me over the E1 Zoom and the RLC511W. The E1 Zoom is their $65 5 megapixel Super HD indoor camera. It's complete with 355 degree pan, 50 degree tilt, and 3x optical zoom. This allows you to control this camera to view any part of your room. Perfect for a pet camera or indoor security camera. The RLC511W is Reallink's 5 megapixel 4X optical zoom, IP66 waterproof Super HD outdoor camera. Now this is only $84.99. They are perfect for placing in your home corners or just on the patio. Both of these cameras do require a power connection, but they both only need Wi-Fi to connect them to the network, which makes them perfect for people who don't have the ability to do power over ethernet running throughout their whole house, kind of like me. As an added bonus, these cameras both allow an SD card, so you do not have to rely on this cloud to view your videos. I found both of these cameras really easy to set up and get added into Home Assistant, and I definitely recommend anyone to check out Reallink over for a great quality camera for a very, very low price. You cannot beat these prices. The Reallink's application to set up the cameras for the first time is super easy. And all you need to do to get them into Home Assistant is use their RTSP URL to insert that into a generic camera in Home Assistant. And it's as easy as that. And I will show you how to do that today. So if you ever do go buy a real link camera, come back here and I'll show you how to set it up. It's very simple, very easy for any camera that you own from real link. Now let's get into how we can put that into your dashboard. All right, so what we're gonna go into is how to implement a security camera into your Lovelace dashboard. This dashboard that I'm showing you now is not that crazy. It's not a blow you away type dashboard. And it's not really supposed to be. That's not the point of this video. The point of the video is to show you how you can integrate your security cameras into your Lovelace dashboard and then use that in other dashboards. For example, you could see this tile dashboard and I'll link above uh, top right where you can get to how to create this dashboard. It's very easy to implement this concept into other dashboards. And as you can see here, I have my two security cameras built into this tile dashboard that I would use on my mobile phone. And this just allows me to easily use these different types of cards throughout any type of dashboard that I have. But as you can see, we have two different cards here. Right, we have the living room security camera on the top in the backyard security camera on the bottom, both from Reallink. The E1 Zoom is the security camera on the top, and the 511W is the security camera on the bottom. Now, both of these cameras, like you see, are fully integrated into my Home Assistant instance via RTSP. This makes it super easy to view them in a picture glance card. Picture glance card takes a camera entity that you can create, and it shows a live view of the camera on your dashboard. So it's super easy to use this and show everything within your dashboard. So how did I get these cameras into Home Assistant in the first place? All right, let's go over that really quickly. So this does require updating and changing some files in your configuration folder of Home Assistant. What that means is you will need a file editor or some way to access these files. Now, it's not that hard as long as you do get access to those, and there's many ways and many YouTube videos um, about doing that. But once you do get that, you can edit the configuration.yaml file with this configuration. 
what I have up here at the top is your default config that you don't necessarily need for this, but I'm just showing you this is the default con configuration. I'm adding in the stream configuration. So this just brings in the stream component into Home Assistant. And then I have a camera platform. So all of this is super easy. All you're doing is typing in a few lines of YAML. Now, once you do put camera, put camera in there, you want to create different platforms for each one of your cameras. The platform itself, the type is called generic. After that, for a generic platform camera, you need to supply a name for the entity that it's going to create, a still image URL. This can be any image on the internet. It could be an image in your local file system, does not matter, and the stream source. Now the stream source is the most important part. This actually is the stream RTSP URL that comes from Reolink. To get that URL, go to the Reolink application, click settings on the camera you are looking to pull into Home Assistant, click the device info card at the top of the page, and then go to network info within that page. There you will find the IP address of your camera. Now, once you find that IP address, the rest of it is plug and play basically. I found that the IP address of my camera for the living room was 192.168.50.36. I was then able to plug and chug the rest of the information. So colon 554 slash slash H264 review zero main zero one main. This is real links. RTSP protocol URL. So you will need to add that to the end of your IP address. And then in the beginning, we're going to put in a few other things. We're going to put in the RTSP colon slash slash, because this is telling you that it is an RTSP URL. And then comes the username and password they use to log into the real link application. Now you set this up whenever you set up your real link app in your real link camera. You are able to set this up, and this is what you're going to pull in. So the RTSP link requires a username and a password associated with this. That comes before the IP address of your camera. The overall setup, and we'll type it out here, RTSP colon slash slash username colon password at IP address colon 554 slash slash h264 preview underscore zero one underscore main. That may seem complicated, but it's really just plug and play. I'll actually add this text to our, to the description. So you have this. All you need to do is plug and chug the username, password, and IP address, which is all accessible via the real link application. And it's a very nice application. So it will guide you through getting all this information. You'll know how to use it immediately. It's very intuitive. Once I've done that, I can click save and restart my Home Assistant instance. And I will then be presented with two entities with my camera feed directly into those entities that I can plug and chug into a card in the Lovelace dashboard. But let's see how to actually create a Lovelace card with this, this stream that we just created. So we're going to start out with a new blank slate Lovelace dashboard. And in order to do that, you can check out my video up in the top right, It'll be a little card up at the top right, to on how to create new Lovelace dashboards. And if you don't find it up in the top right or you want to look at it after this video, check out my videos. And it was my previous video to this one. Go ahead and check that out. What we're going to do is edit the dashboard and add a card. And we're going to choose a picture glance card. Here we're going to go ahead and throw away some of these entities because we don't need them. And we're going to choose our camera entity. So I know that I just created this real link living room camera RTSP and I could choose it and that will be my camera entity. But you'll see here on the, on the right hand side that I'm not actually seeing the view into my living room yet. Why is that? Because we are looking at the auto view. This will actually only view the still image that you, sh that you gave it. So in my case, I gave it a blank URL because I didn't really need to, I didn't want to use it. I'm going to change this camera view to live. All right, now that we've clicked live, you can see that I have a glimpse into my living room here via that security camera. I can then change the toggle and more info actions, and I'll show you that as well. And then I can start adding in 
entities that are inside of my living room. Actually, first we're going to change the title to be living room. So it's no longer kitchen. And then we are going to change the entities in this living room. So I know I have a fan in my living room and I know I have some living room lights. And now I can control these, the fan and the lights via clicking these little icons here on the right hand side. And this makes it super easy to make a very functional card to view your security cameras, but also to change the different entities you have in those rooms. When you click save, and that is how you create a living room security camera card within Lovelace. Now I can use this and change and view it in a way that it works with my dashboard. We'll go back to the tile dashboard example here. And I can even use one of these security cameras to as a portal into a different view. So for example, I just clicked on my living room security camera and it actually brought me to a different view in my Lovelace dashboard. I can go back, edit, edit this card really quickly and change the tab action to navigate and the navigation path to living dash room. That will allow me to navigate to the living dash room view that I have set up already. And again, if you want to see how to create this, it's in my previous videos. You'll, you'll find a link to how to create an awesome dashboard um, that you'll be able to use on your mobile devices. So we'll close out of this. These cars are really nice because they also allow you to click into the camera. If you don't set it up and you just set it up to more info, you could click into the camera by, I can press and hold this one and actually load up a full view of my camera. And as you can see here, I can see a full view of my camera and what's going on inside my living room at the moment. Now this makes it super easy to create security camera dashboards in a way that you want them. The best use for these cards and the best use for security cameras in your home assistant dashboard is to make them work in the dashboard that works for you. Now I've given you the tools to create and to add these types of cards to your dashboard, add those to your dashboard, to your existing dashboard, dashboards, just as I did the tile dashboard and show me how you did that. Send it in the comments. Let me know how you integrated your security cameras into your dashboards. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe this to this video to keep seeing more content like this. I know this video came out a week late. I didn't release a video last week. That's because I've been super busy with work recently. Took on a new position, which is very exciting, but it has taken up more of my time. I hope to be able to continue these videos, um, but they may be more than one week apart, maybe two weeks, just whenever I find time to do this stuff. But I do have a lot of things planned for you guys for the rest of the year already. And it's coming. We'll get it out to you. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Thank you.